Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back. It's you. It's me. I'm Grant. You're my team. And we're starting straight off with some exploring. Okay. Are there any things that we need to do around here? Okay. I would rather... Oh, oh, oh. I would like... I would like a lot of these. Thank you. Look at all these beautiful killer weapons. <sighs> mm. Dragon Knuckles, hello. Said to have slain a legendary beast, effective against dragons. Attack twice if initiating combat. Killer Knuckles or Knuckles. Yo, I'm gonna hit you up with an idea. War, Monk, Annette, or a Knuckles. Boom, just think about it. Anyways, so, how are you doing? We're good. Uh, today is all about, I think we're gonna actually try and finish chapter 11 today. Yeah, uh, yes. I'm prepared. I can do it. Right, greenhouse keeper. Yes, I'd like to do the gardening. Yes, I'd like to harvest. Thank you. Plant. Uh, let's start with the seeds that we have plenty of. So, there you go. Right, okay. Cultivate with the Caledonian soil. There we go. Head very quickly over to the, hey, maybe. not the blacksmith, just the item shop, and I just want to sell the bouillon that we have. Right, let me sell. Oh, there we go. Right. Bouillon. Yep. Extra large bouillon. And yes, I've reclassed Byleth into Enlightened One, and I took care of the necessary preparations for it. There you go, chance to Beginnings. I need you. I need you. Right. Sylvain and his pearl. Right, hold on. Not you. Ingrid. You and your bouillon. Right, there we go. Flame, Boolean. This one? Thank you. No, no, no. Boolean. There you go. This one? Thank you. Right. Okay, good. This one? Yep. Thank you. This one? Yep. Thank you. Smashing. There we go. Okay, so we've got max HP by five, strength by two, charm by two, strength by one, and HP by one. Please come again. I will at some point. We've also got support conversations to oh my god, it's gonna take ages. Right. Byleth Claude, let's see, um, you're on 35 now, if I give you the Seraph Robe then, that brings you up to a nice 40, right, good. Byleth Lawrence Ignatz, right, okay, if I can get you then to consume the energy drop, trade, vulnerary, there you go, use, boom, right, what we're looking at here, Rocky Burdock, there you go, right? Joy-Con, come on. Right, that's good. Black Pearl, Black Pearl and Fruit of Life, that's HP by one. Take that, Iggy, you can have that. And then for the charm, Flame. Cause like, we know that her Charm is off the hills. So I want to just use it, because why not? There we go. Right, okay, I'll tell you why not. It's because she's meant to be a dancer, oh. not a battalion user. What? I know person who I just walked past. I know. Right, hey so. I could try and get motivations up, and I think that there's not much point in that now, to be honest, so I'm instead just gonna have Mercedes cook a King of Beasts steak. And then I'm gonna use the rest of my activity points I enjoy baking sweet. to focus on my growth, my stats, and whatever's left over from that point, I can then invest into um, motivations. So, Oh my god, pillar, move. Right, there we go. Uh, that's the button I need. Okay, right, so. Everybody up here. Oh, Jesus, I never talked to these people. Oh, I missed them on the world building. Oh, no way. How did I miss that many people? Where are you all? Dorothea's over there. Set it's in there. Flame, Hanuman, Manuela, Aloise. How did I miss you all? Oh, I am shit. Oh well, we're rectifying that wrong. Today's gonna be a super long episode. Hmm. Hi. Ah, it is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. 
I would prefer to be alone right now. Uh, I would rather you didn't be alone, and I would rather that you teach me how to, um, oh god, what can you... We don't need that, because we've already got Ingrid. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Actually, we might need that. Thanks. Good boy. Right. Right. Excuse Hello. me. Hello. Further I am Faith. Thanks. Right. Head straight down here. Hey, hey girl. How you doing? Oh god. Captain. Oh, Professor. How long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. I still have much to learn. Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. But recently, I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but... Hmm... Whenever it has concluded, I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. They will. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Right, okay. So, uh, in here... Henneman! Are you positive? Really? Your appearance is due to the influence of the Crest of Flames? Intriguing. Unfortunately, I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color ever changing. However, if that transformation was brought on in part by the power of the Crest, that would be most... Well, I suppose interesting is too small a word. Still, it would be an absolutely exceptional discovery. To know for certain, we must investigate further. So, close off. Never. What? A full physical is in order, yes? We need to know if this transformation affected you adversely. Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. Oh, yes, I... I should call Manuela. My apologies. Yes, you... <clears throat> Huh, sir. Just give me the riding proficiency. Teach me how to ride. Teach me how to ride after you told me to take my clothes off. Thanks for that, Hanneman. Really? The holy tomb, huh? I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlin. Although... When the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the empire, kingdom, and alliance. That's weird, right? Yep. So, I would like you to teach me how to face. Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And like you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. How can I help? I'm not being distant, so don't worry. Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. Nah, it's fine. I do find you very... Hmm. Charm and authority. <laughs> I figured I'd push my look a bit. I just wanted to see. Right, okay, now we just have to talk to Goose. Well. And then I can feed the rest of my babies, right? Oh, there you are. Hey, Goose. Uh. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes? That's my intention. Not the most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. Well, 
I guess we need to get the last person then. Hello, sir. That reminds me. All things considered, this year has been rather terrible. As far as the students are concerned, next month is the last one of the school year. Next month, we will hold the graduation ceremony, though it'll be an understandably subdued affair. This month, we ask that you carry out your duties as best you can to ensure that our students remain calm. Oh, look at this. There's an item glowing. Move. Move. Animated bay. You nasty. History of the Fodlum War. Okay, part two. Oh, good lord. There's a lot to cover there. I think we'll do that later. <laughs> not right now. Now's not the best time for it. Um, Cause we we've done we've done a fair bit. We have done a fair bit of like world building. We did that in like chapter two? But like we never finished the library off. So today's special, I would like to get Hilda Ferdinand. I don't know why I've picked those two, because I don't think they have support points. Boom, that's you too. Daphne Stew, that's you too. Boom, there you go. Eating del I appreciate any good meal, but there we go. Right, end that free time. It's Lysithia's birthday tea party. Happy birthday. Okay, do we have an ooh? Ooh. Did you call me? I did. Hello. Right. I love her. She's so sweet. This is delicious. She is my other daughter. Annette and Lysithia are my daughters. A place you'd like to visit. School days. The courtyard couple. The conversation got lively. The view from the bridge. Dining partners. Thanks for everything. There you go. School days. Pfft, come on, you just gave me that one for free. Talking to you feels worth my time. I feel there's a lot I can learn from you. Okay, uh, praise possibly? Sigh, admonish, and laugh. Um... Uh... Yes, okay, I, I didn't know. Laugh felt too obvious, but okay. Professor. Little poop nugget. I love her. Right, okay. And... Ah, that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See ya. I love her. I love her. Lysithia is so good. One of my absolute favorite characters in this game. It's just funny. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, there's a lot of meme potential with Lysithia, so, um, it's because of, like, how she just attacks the Death Knight and just blows him up every single time. Every So it's like, like, the meme is that she just bites him and he dies. We're gonna do some supports. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> there's really no better place for my midday nap than under the shade of a nice big tree. Ah, <sighs> the twittering of the little birds. Mm, it's like they're singing a lullaby just for me. Guy, ah, Is that a dagger? Am I being ambushed? Claude, why are you lazing about? You should be training. Shamir! Is this your doing? Talk about unfriendly. Another inch and you would have sliced my handsome nose clean off my roguishly beautiful face. But I didn't. Fortunately for you. You know, if you wanted to give me a talking to, you could have done so with your words instead. That's how most people do the talking thing. Conversation was not my intention. Well, what then? A prank? That's not better. I thought we were under attack. I could have died from the shock. <sighs> Look closely at the dagger. Is that... <sighs> right. There's a poor spider impaled on it. Spiders are never poor. Spiders are never, ever, ever poor. Thank you, Shamir. A poisonous spider. The tiniest bite from which can cause fever, headache, and relentless vomiting. Or worse. Yikes. I guess this little guy is more vicious than he looks. I noticed it descending towards your face. Ah, so you saved me from a certain doom. Well, in that case, I'm sorry for questioning your motives. I promise to repay the favor someday. I'll keep that in mind. 
Wow, so that's what the greatest sniper of all the knights is capable of. Absolutely incredible. It just never ends. Oh, Ferdinand? Hilda, do you need something? I just have a tiny favor to ask. I apologize, but I must graciously decline. You didn't even let me say what it was. I can proffer a guess. Instead of relying on others, why not try doing something on your own? Nobles should not be lazy or idle. We should accomplish our goals through earnest effort. Easy for you to say. You're the very model of a diligent noble. Always contemplating the noblest course of action, never stopping to take a break. Your chore today was repairing the weapons, right? There are so many weapons here, and yet you're already done. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> it was nothing. Anyone could have done the same. I don't think so. I certainly couldn't. I do not believe that to be true. Look at me. I'm supposed to be organizing these library supplies, but I have no idea where to start. What could be difficult about such a task? You simply line them up and count them. There are too many! Well, maybe it doesn't seem difficult to you, but that's just because you're so clever. Granted, there might be some creative approaches to completing the task. Oh? Please, enlighten me. Hmm, I can point you in the right direction. To start, divide them up by size. Right, right. I'm with you so far. And then what? Now, put similar items together. That makes it easier to get a handle on the numbers. I see. Then what? Now that you have arranged everything, you can begin counting. See how easy it is? Wow! You did that in no time! You really saved my neck there. Thanks, Ferdinand. Bye! <laughs> it was nothing. I... Oh. I suppose I ended up doing her work after all. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. <laughs> One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! Come on. I was eight and she was gor... That was a long time ago. Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were 10, we went to that harvest festival and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, relentlessly might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord, despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me. Always for you. Every. Time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? Any more? No? Okay, good! Right, in that case, it's time for the mission! Conflict in the Holy Tomb. Your house ventures into the Holy Tomb to receive a revelation from the Goddess. In that hidden place, deep beneath Garrick Mock, a shocking truth is revealed. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> You're going to receive the goddess's revelation at the holy tomb? 
That's news to me. I did not see that coming. Lady Rhea's going too, right? I hear it will be well guarded, but is that really okay? If Stolen's allies are still around, it's certainly true that we don't know when or where they may appear. I don't know what type of place this holy tomb is, but we should be cautious. If something happens, we'll have to take matters into our own hands. What do you think, Professor? Is it really okay for Lady Rhea to attend? I'm worried. It's encouraging. Leave it to our fearless leader to shrewdly factor in Rhea's fighting ability. You're bold, Teach. I love it. Well, the truth is, we won't know what's going to happen until it happens. All we can do is stay on our guard and play it by ear. That's quite enough babbling, Claude. There is nobody more unfit for a holy ceremony than you. Um, divine punishment won't strike us for setting foot in the holy tomb, right? Good grief. Why are you always so negative? Hmm? Flame? Is something on your mind? Who, me? No, it is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. It still doesn't make sense to me. A goddess was living inside Teach, right? But now there's a ceremony to receive a revelation or whatever. How could that be necessary anymore? There must be another objective. <sighs> it's pointless to speculate about it now. We'll know the answer soon enough. There isn't any danger for us students, but be careful, Teach. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. That mechanism for descending underground back there, what powers it? When I tried to come by myself, it wouldn't even budge. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? I do. So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. I do. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Sorry to disturb you when you're distressed, Archbishop, but it seems some uninvited guests have arrived. <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> The Imperial Army? What are they doing here? So, they knew we were heading to the Holy Tomb and followed us here. Hey, who is that standing next to the angry guy? Could that be... The Flame Emperor. I see. So you've been allied with the Empire from the beginning. What are they doing here? What do they hope to gain? There's only one goal for grave robbers like these. Right, Flame Emperor? You're here to steal the treasure that rests within the Holy Tomb. For a fool, you catch on quickly. Those crest stones will be ours. That infernal power, which is masquerading as a medicine but is truly a poison, will plague this world no longer. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor. Destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! With pleasure. You just say the word, girl. She just did. I'm going in. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It is time. It is time. It's the big chapter 11 moment. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, we gotta get ready for this one. <clears throat> This is the most important one before chapter 12.
Okay, sorry. <laughs> you needed to get that out of my system. Okay, right. So, go, 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 go. Right. Period. Right. Byleth, I need you to um, team up with your girl, Annette. Right, period. That's my daughter. Right, I need Ignatz, Ferdy, Mercy, Coco. I need Claude, Shamir. For some reason, I've got this, I've got this tradition where I bring Shamir to chapter 11. I don't know why, but every single time I've played this game, I've always, 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 always brought Shamir. Period. Right, okay. Hilda. And while I'm here, inventory. Marketplace. Very excited for this one. Replenish, nobody needs to replenish. Blacksmith, repair, heal, da. The iron axe, there you go. The hand axe, there you go. Uh, blacksmith, forge, Hilda. Killer axe. Boom. Hilda, the Queen Valentine Gonorill. Right. Now take a look at this. Right. Grave robbers on this side. Grave robbers all down here. Grave robbers all along here. Flame Emperor. At last we meet. But if you take a look over here, you can see. Yo, Joy-Con, like, you wanna work? Oh no, we can't, we can't. Okay, fine. But look at the crest. It's the Crest of Flames. There's only one other character in this game that has the Crest of Flames. And you're looking at her, laddie. It's me, Baileth Fulton Eisner. And then we've got Metaday. You remember him from chapter five of the Cinder Shadows DLC. Hey, we have a Cinder Shadows Let's Play on this channel. If you haven't seen it, you might want to go and check it out because we covered everything. It was awesome. Okay, uh, then we've got two demonic beasts. We can deal with that. That's fine. If I have... Right, let's see. Where can you strike and where can you strike? Okay, so if I have Mercy, sorry, Coco, destroy the, well, Coco might be able to get in here. Tinerian can't, blah, 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 pfft, cannot be crossed. That's fine, right? Byleth. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's weird to me that like we're flyers, but we can't fly over it. Whatever. Mercy can destroy these two. Hilda, I really, you know, okay, here's, here's, here's the new, here's the new plan, right? Map, Claude, over where Hilda is, Mercy, there, Iggy, Yuri, Shamir, Constance, right, they're going to be seeing a lot of action on this side, period, and it's going to get chaotic as we push forward here. I'm ready, let's go. Defeat the enemy commander, by Lothor Claude, fall in battle. I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. Protect the crest stones. If they're stolen, you can get them back by defeating the foes that have them. You can earn rewards based on the number of crest stones you've protected. I guess we're fighting over who gets those crest stones. What in the world do they intend to use them for anyway? Let me just make this abundantly clear to you. We have one knowledge gem because we did the Sophist Paralogue. If we save every single crest stone here, we will get a second knowledge gem, and then we will have both knowledge gems that you can get in the game. Right, let's get this bread. Bread and die. Burn. I've been practicing that one. So Constance is fighting inside, which means she gets a boost to her magic and strength because of her circadian beat skill. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Actually. Who me? Trade. The Knowledge Gem for the Chalice of Beginnings. And then, we're gonna have you wait. And then Claude is an archer. Okay, cool. Byleth, Stay I want you over this way. Items, you're gonna use the Iron Sword, but you're also gonna go Convoy, and you're going to go and get 
um, the longbow out, as well as... Ooh, we could go Devil Sword. Let's go Steel. And then we're gonna wait there. Ready and willing. Claude, you're gonna go here, you're gonna attack, you're gonna steal bow, and you're gonna shoot. Oh. Oh. Can you take a like, yeah, like yikes. Can you like steal that from Violet? Um, thanks. Yeah, cheers, bud. Right, never mind. Right. Here we go. Mercy my treats. I need you up against Ferdinand like that. Eh, where can you strike? Oh, that's not too bad. So if we do this... I love him. Only a fool challenges me. Right. To work. Silenced. Ready anytime. Sure thing. Dead eye. Oh no, I don't want to risk it. No. Mm -mm -mm. We're not doing that. Thanks. There we go. Okay, go. She is so good. Constance is so good. those stones are? That is a question we will get answered in the Golden Deer pathway. But not for until like much later, so don't worry about it. We need to cut them off. Now's our chance. Ouch. Rick. Hold on. What's your damage? 24. What's yours? Um, your HP is 28. You will be going for Hilda. But she's going to say screw that. And you. <laughs> Get him. Yes, I have no, choice. no, you do not have a choice in this matter. We need to have you push on. I need you to hold your kill on Lance. Gambit, go. I'll show you a plan. Very good. And then you wait there. Better accept it. Set a thief to catch a thief. Not too shabby. Send the crest stone to the convoy. Right. Ignatz, can you... Hmm. Trade with Shamir. The steel bow. And then rally speed on her. Shamir, I want you to steel bow this bitch. Another threat down. Good, that's another crest stone. Okay. Sorry, but victory is mine. No 
Nosferatu. I could. So I will. Each battle, a chance to grow. We swipe to press stone, that's fine. I love Constance, she's so good. Counter attack. <laughs> I mean, I'm not biased. Ferdinand is just phenomenal. Stole a press stone. Stole a press stone. Stole a press stone. Stole a press stone. Cool, right. So, now what we can do is we can have the mini bow and pew! Because we know that the pink square at the back is their gateway, like it's their gateway. We know that they need to get to that, so, for, actually, wait, hold on. Ooh. Do you know what? I could be that bitch. I could be that bitch. And I'm gonna be that bitch. Sagitte. Boom. There you go. I love her. That's such a satisfying animation. <laughs> that shall do nicely. She does not have the chalice of beginnings, it would not be the smartest move for her, period. Right. Make them tremble! <laughs> Smashing. Well done, Yuri. Oh my god. Well done! Face it, I'm better than you. Right. Better some Dromi allow us to move up there. Gauntlets. Crit. After crit. After crit. After crit. After crit with this squad. We love seeing this. We really do. Okay. Killer. Okay. That's fine. Right. No hard feelings. We're so good. You can I know I can. That's why you're best girl. Because you can be relied upon. Right. Steel bow. Was not the play. Steel bow is now broke. The enemy has swiped crest stones. We don't care about that. Right. Mercy. He's getting too close to you, girl. Blow him up. Yeah. It's not over yet. Right, uh... I don't really feel comfortable about that, so... If I... Oh, I have an idea. <gasps> Watch this big brainery. Watch this. Trade. To Constance. The Chalice of Beginnings. And then, we'll have her wait. For Constance, I want you to go over to Hilda. I want you to trade the Chalice of Beginnings for the Knowledge Gem, right? I want you to wait there. Hilda, I want you... I know this is a very, very, very risky play, but if I didn't believe she could do it, I wouldn't send her straight into Death's Jaws. No. 
I should have dismounted her. Oh. Done yet. Oh God. <laughs> oh, it's really looking up for us. Right. This is fine. <laughs> Who's next? Shamir is amazing. Boring. Strength is all for a mercenary. One archer's attention away from Hilda. That's why I put Violet there. This is our chance. Okay, that was very bitchy. That was a bitchy move on your on your behalf. You're a cow for that. You are a cow for that. Right. I love her. Constance is amazing. Ah! I've been practicing that one. My next effort shall compensate. Girl, that is fine. Don't you worry. Right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. We're just gonna have to wait there because Metaday is not here to play. Right. Attack with the hand axe and get him. <laughs> you lost to me. Yes, bitch. Okay, right. Oh, damn. Get him. No Queen. Yeah. Savage Queen. That is that. Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love, 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 love it. Right. Mercy, I need you to get down there and physic. Oh, you can't physic. Hilda's outside your range. Well, shit on my chest and call it a good day. Right. Fish. There you go, Yuri. Yeah, Iron Bow, that's good. Aegis. You love to see it. Out of my way. Well, that's, uh... Yeah. Okay, cool. Items... Fine. Steel bow. Damn, Shamir! Oh, Boring. I love her so much. She's such a good character. God. Iggy, Iggy. Let's get over there. Right. Let's take a look down here. Claude. Ready? Oh, the savage queenery. And she's just like, 
There's my HP back. Thank you. Right. Oh, God. I wish I could just get Ferdinand up there so much. Anyway. Right. Mercy. Assist. Physic. Hilda. Boom. So good. So good. Right. You're not moving. And you sir are deadly with your attack 32 jesus what do you yeah wow you have sword fair which brings you wow okay right so sword fair empire raiders oh wow five and five is ten on top of 20 yeah that's the math checks out okay right lock touch allows you to you're not using that stealth makes it more difficult for foes to target unit fuck you poison strike if unit initiates combat and lands a hit, targeted foes lose up to 20% of their max HP after combat. Shit. Defiant speed. Grants speed plus 8 when HP is under or equal to 25%. Resistance plus 2. God damn you, bitch. Right. An old score. Might just get settled here. Right. Hilda, killer, dismount, no, we don't need to yet, Constance, we don't need to really rally to be honest, but we can heal her up, oh, nice. magical flyer girl, healing physical flyer girl, right, Claude, straight down there, <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Make them suffer. Absorption. Okay. <laughs> oh, good lord. Smash. You're making me work. This is why we pick Hilda. Bye. Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just... <laughs> that shall do nicely. It shall indeed. Right. Okay. Hilda, I would like you up there. Byleth. I would like you... To huh? Actually, okay, right. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six plus twelve makes forty-eight, which means even if she gets one crit, it's not a kill. You are the one person I did not wish to make an enemy of. Counterattack. Predictable. Good. Goodbye. You wish to interfere? Then your life is forfeit. Yes! Good. So, the end has come. Just let it set in. Just let it set in. The amount of times I have called her a bitch. The amount of times that I have expressed hatred for this character. The amount of times. The amount of times. I think she's a brilliant character. I am still within my rights to hate her, though. She's definitely one of the most compelling characters in this game. But I am so glad that that hatred is justified right in this moment. Is this some sick joke? The Flame Emperor is actually Edelgard? You protected all of the Crest Stones. You received a rusted bow. Awesome. 
It can be forged into a silver bow. You received the final knowledge gem of the game. You received an advanced seal. Well done. Hilda! Hilda! Queen! Holy tomb shit. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresmelk would dare betray the Holy Church. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. Bitch, with pleasure! She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. I have achieved my objective. I will retreat. Farewell, Professor. If we meet again, it will be on the battlefield. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. Rhea hath snapped. I'm not exactly on friendly terms with the princess, but I do have a few questions for her. Edelgard said that the crest stones represent power. That means she knows how to use them. She almost certainly knows other secrets of Fodlin as well. Once things calm down a bit, there's a lot more that Rhea needs to tell us. I just hope there's still time. I have this strange feeling that history is being written. That an age of anarchy is upon us. Let's hope I'm mistaken. <laughs> About that, um, it begins next month. The leaders of the church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire, to rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlin. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom, and then divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Declared war? Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. I heard what happened, Teach. The Princess, well, the Emperor now, she really did it, didn't she? The lords and dukes of both the kingdom and the alliance have been called out, and now have to choose between the church and the empire. The seed of conflict was always there, and now we find ourselves in the middle of a war that will tear Fodlin in two. The empire is rash, but I never thought it would come to this. 
How could something like this happen? I hope everyone back home is safe. I'm sure it's mass confusion at home right now. My brother must be worried sick about me. Only time will tell. Let's calm down. You're absolutely right, Teach. I'm sure a lot of us are worried about our homes, but all we can do for now is prepare for battle and tread carefully. Let me just remind you, we could have, we could have had a nice, happy, pleasant graduation, but then this bitch decided to claim war. She decided to say, you know what? Fuck you. Your church is evil. Let's have a war. Of course, when you play her pathway, Crimson Flower, <laughs> you see exactly why she does what she does. So, um, that's kind of what I love about this game, is that there's no right or no wrong in this game, because it's so insanely morally grey, and that's all, that's all due to the writing. And it's just brilliant. I just, I, I can't praise it enough on... I can't praise the game enough on being morally grey. What you're expected to do is pick a side and then fight for your convictions, because that is war. That's people clashing over different beliefs and different ideas, believing that they're right. And then, of course, history then is written by the victors. Because it was the victors who lived and ended up, in quotation marks, being right. End quotation marks. So, whew, next month is gonna be insane. And we're starting that tomorrow. So... If you have enjoyed today's revelation from the goddess, then by all means, feel free to press like and subscribe and help us out and help us grow. Stick around because chapter 12's coming and so is the war. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, I will catch you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. It's not the end of the world. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.